Stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't wanna go through battle. Can it just be like just anime cuts? I hate the battles. It's a night. Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad Seven began its return to the capital of Rand Greece. Oh, thank heavens! Just go back. Just go back home. Worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Woken. We should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. There's someone with night vision. No ways in hell. Please go. Where? Uh, uh, Welcome. <laughs> he wanted to be in charge. Good. You're awake. I'll I'll show you the scene after this. Where are we? Is everyone all right? Looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Ah, scratch that. I think my ankle sprained actually. Yeah, you know, an entire, like, I don't know, some cannon attack you is just a sprained ankle. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Sorry, I know it hurts, but you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. <laughs> Stop. Oh no, no, <laughs> no. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. How would you know? You can't know that. Well, yeah. The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance, so watch out. You kind of just told me that through information text. Ow! Oh no. Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry. I don't know how much I can run like this. You know, you went through so many bullets when people shot you during the battle scenes, and then this hurts you. That's alright. You set the pace, and I'll follow. Is that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. So, what does that mean? Here like, we go. is that this target range or is that how big it is? Sighted. 
Hey, welcome. What's that light? Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent. The same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy sp Yeah. These leaves. Great. This is Ponicera. What's up, Wilkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Wilkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponicera growing nearby. That's how far I'm gonna move. I like the lack of music. I don't know. Okay, so the mortar cannot move. Or it looks like it cannot move. Okay, he's dead. Oh, there was a mine right there too, now I know. Views. Wait, does a mortar move or does it? Is it stationary? It's just I don't know. Okay. Remember, I have to set the pace with her. Like I have to. Okay, so every time I use Ponicera, she. Uh, can walk a little bit farther. Unfortunately, it's not that. The only thing I worry about is can she make it across? Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? Fucking kill us. They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good. Okay, how do we keep our heads down from there? Okay, so I think the mortar is portable, but... Enemy sighted! Why do you have blue laser beams?
This really sucks. Because she can't move fast. What am I supposed to do? Bring the Pernicea to her? I can't. Okay, there has to be a way for her to move fast at this point. Oh, I made it. Pull it together. be in the grass because this is ridiculous oh my god the only way we can go through is the grass yeah in the current phase this is all we can do at least the map here looks a lot better than blade and Soul's map you have to admit their maps suck This sucks. I can't even see. Well, we kind of know the area the soldier is at, but we don't know exactly his spot. I don't even know where you are. Oh, it's going to be in that area. What am I going to do? Okay, I get it. Okay. What I see now is the next spot the mortar is going to attack. So, if I don't get out of that area, by the end of this turn, I'm fucking dead. Here we go. So, I know there was no panacea there. I don't think there's anything. <gasps> there's Parnassia over there. Okay. So I'm gonna load and get Alicia to move there right away. No. Because she needs, like, Vulcan is the one that's going to apply that on her. So. Okay. The good thing is this place isn't that bad. Like you can be safe here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh no, 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 no. Is this the only panacea? Okay, now it's Welkin's turn. Ready to go. Hello, Perry. Another one. Alicia, here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. Yo, you're gonna, you're kind of making her push herself. Okay, so.
I don't think there would be any Punicera in behind me. Just really worried about this. Enemy sighted. Oh shit. I might save it in a different file though, because I think Welcome is gonna die from that. My turn, okay? I'm trying to get down. That's kind of not fair if I couldn't even do anything. Okay, I might have killed everyone. Oh, except this guy, but he's gonna die next turn anyways. <gasps> hey, you can't just do that! That's actually a good idea though. Oh my god. Yeah, I wish I could do that. You know, that's actually really, really... That would probably be very, very effective. Saving on my other file. I have lots of files. The good thing is I realize if I want to go back, I can just go, like, return to title. Like, that's it. Or, let's see. What is it? Uh, system. Oh, no. Ready to go. Live, man, live! Yes. Oh, you gotta love nature. Oh, now you say that, really? Will you be fully healed now? There's some more Ponisera again. Oh, the pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? Why? Are you hungry? Huh? <laughs> no, I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. What's... wait, I forgot. Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. Uh, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods, and you're thinking of baking bread. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Mm, but we have to go this way, though. And that's a big problem. Uh-oh. Okay, I think it's a good idea if I just stay here. Yeah, this is a good spot. Oh, this is perfect. We're moving her out of the way, too. 
Okay, this is perfect. She has most of her movement. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh, uh, before the, this battle scene hat, or this, I don't know what this, this would be called, sneaking around business happened, uh, no, uh, a mor the mortar blast hit them, and that resulted in Alicia getting a sprained ankle. Okay, I can move Welkin. Excuse me. Here we go. Can you kill Alicia again, please? There's no really point to shoot anything for me, anyways. I can't reach you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ugh. Gotta love nature. Oh god. I have to go this way. But there's a dead end there. What does that mean? I'm very confused as to where to go. Oh god. Does that mean there's a path here? What, where am I supposed to do here? What kind of path is this? Oh wait, is this a... Is this a place to hide kind of thing? I'm assuming so. Okay. Because the lights will be in the way. Especially for Alicia. Because the path is where the spotlight is. Okay. I know! I almost thought I was a goner. I was so confused what you were talking about, like, spotlight dodge. Oh! You have find me! Ha ha ha! You're just walking in a circle. You'll be like, la 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 la. <gasps> Little what a nurse evening. Oh my god, that scared me so much. That's cheating! I feel like you know where I am. Seriously. I feel like you do. Okay. I forgot what. I need to check the objectives. Do both of them have to go through? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna move Alicia first. So she's practically okay. All right there. I'm surprised the lights did not notice me. Oh my god, that scared me so much. The thing I worry about the most is if there's any sort of grass for... For a... Wait, where am I going? I'm supposed to go this way. Wait, I'm very confused at this. Okay, I'm actually gonna end this and actually get Welkins to walk around. I have no idea where to go. Because I think that way leads to a dead end. But I'm supposed to go that way. So I'm very confused. Ready to go. Ugh. Gotta love nature. But it looked like a dead end. Or that symbol usually means it's a dead end. Oh. Okay, this is Really? It looks like a dead end because of that, the wall, invisible, weird sign. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Moving out.
Like, you wouldn't have think, like, that kind of picture, image, symbolize, yes, this is where you're supposed to go. you think it'd be a little bit different. I've, I wasted a turn for you, man. Phew. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. Nah, gotta be. I don't care. Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. Sega. Sega did it. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you Cutscenes for this game, okay? The battles make me so tired and make me mad. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. Don't worry. You know that's true. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Bob. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. Well, I know about aloe vera. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. I wonder if that's a ripoff of aloe vera. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. <laughs> Very well, yes. Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting Aww. bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? <laughs> My mom died as a casualty of the first year. Why is it always the mom? I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. Just like in Legend of Heroes. Everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. Just like Legend of Heroes. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. Just like Legend of Heroes. I think that always weighed on him. That question of what he fought the war for. Just like Legend of Heroes. I had no idea. Kind of like Joshua, so but Legend of Heroes. He was out in the woods playing with me. He was always so bright and happy. Just like Legend of Heroes. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. <laughs> oh, well. Stop it, Beef. This is very emotional right now. You're ruining the atmosphere. Maybe. It could be the same universe. This could be way in the future. <gasps> is she glowing? Or is everyone glowing? I can't tell. <gasps> oh my god. Alicia, someone's coming. Is actually General Gunther? Freeze! <gasps> uh, Welkin, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me! Welkin, do something! Are we gonna get a new member? Because we saved his life? Well? It's no use. Nope, the guess not. Too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, God, Mother. Mother. It's OK. 
okay? Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. She's sad. Always look at those asterisk parts. Stop! You don't do that here. Can you find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. Isara. How about you quit messing around and help us look? The Edelweiss still requires maintenance. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? It's because he's missing that I'm doing this. We have no idea when he'll be back, but... Making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now. <laughs> Not like I care either way. Aww, friendship? I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. Why, it's been two days? Squad seven's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us, we're all toe up. You hear me? Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you. Aww, Zargo, you're like a teddy bear. <laughs> sure. Ah, uh, this is shipping. Okay, guys, remind me before I do the next battle that I level up my people, because that's important. Oh, it's important. Welcome. I, I couldn't do anything for that poor man. Nope. He was lying there asking me for help. But all I could do was watch him die. <laughs> no, he was just saying that because he wanted to see his mother. Oh my goodness, Perry, you're taking this a bit too strongly. Like That's not true. You helped him in a way only you could, Alicia. The look on his face when he passed on wasn't one of pain. No, I guess you're right. Thank you, Mom. I'd always just thought of the Imperials as monsters out to kill Gallians. But they're just as human as we are, huh? With families of their own to fight for. Yeah, they are. It's like the war started and we all forgot that. It's so simple, but... <laughs> Wait, how would it be embarrassing for you if I die? I thought it'd be sad. War, he might be back at home with his family now. Yeah, probably having some hot chocolate because the winter is pretty great right now. Hey, Welkin. Did I ever tell you I don't have one? A family, I mean. I grew up in an orphanage. I don't even know my parents' names. No, you didn't. But maybe I'm actually lucky, huh? If you, if you never have a family in the first place, you can't ever lose them. What about the people that you live with now? Didn't you live with, didn't you say yeah, your father, the person that probably adopted you had a bakery and that's where you were working at? Are you telling me you don't care about him? I guess being all alone has its perks. <laughs> don't even joke about it. You know you're not alone. You've got me and he's everybody in Squad 7. We're all yeah. family now, Alicia. That Squad Seven. Sure. Ah. Uh -huh. Dad, you're the mom. Rosie and Isara are like dog. And Largo is the grandpa. Come on, can't you see it? Yeah, it's so cute. Huh. If he heard that, you know Largo would kick your butt. Sure, we have our share of fights. But they say that best friends fight the most, right? Aww. Yeah. He's so positive. So don't go saying you're all on your own. You hear me? All right, Welkin. And thanks. Would you like me to summarize this cutscene for you, Beef? Oh, shit. 
Is it is it the pig? I forgot what his name is. Pork chop? Bacon? God damn it. Nope, it's soldiers. I really felt like they should have taken away their uniform and then you would have never known that they were soldiers. The helmet and rifle? They belong to Fritz, sir. Are you two the ones who laid him to rest? Yes. Yes. There are signs of medical treatment inside the cabin, sir. Why then? Explain to me the reasons you had to save his life. He was delirious. He was crying out for his mother. We may be enemies in this war, but we all have families waiting for us at home. As a human being, I couldn't just sit by and watch a man in pain without trying to do something. We always called him a mama's boy, sir. And now... Sorry, Fritz. I wish we could have been there for you. And you, son, do you have a family? Yes. I have a younger sister. Don't tell him that. And I have another sort of family as well. I have the soldiers of my squad. <laughs> I see. I have a wife and daughter back at home. I feel the same as you. My men are like a second family to me. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. I'm sure his mother will appreciate it. I suppose we'll meet again on the battlefield. I'm sorry for that. You both seem like good people. For now, so long. We should hurry back and join the squad. Yeah, you know where they are. You can't just know where they are. Hey, it's hard to stop this tank!